Is it possible for a narcissist to be a Christian? The answer to that is no. Now, there's a difference, and it's imperative to understand this, there's a difference between selfishness and narcissism. Selfishness is when we're selfish, we choose to put ourselves before others in, in intermediate states and in, in temporal moments throughout this life. It's bound to happen. Uh, we are selfish. We, we know the root of Adam and sin is within us, and there will, for, will forever be a struggle between the flesh and the spirit. We're always going to struggle with dying to self. That's why in the book of Luke, uh, Christ declares we are to deny ourselves, take up our cross daily, and follow him. Uh, we need to crucify the flesh. And that needs to happen every day. It's not this one moment thing where we're perfect and we no longer sin ever again. There is a battle being waged and we can become uh, born again when we believe Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, and we repent of our sins. Now, the difference between selfishness and narcissism is selfishness is momentary. Narcissism is prolonged selfishness. It's, it's, it's a means of character attributed to the person. Narcissism is what one actually is. And if Christ is saying that uh, unless you deny yourself uh, and take up your cross, you cannot be my disciple, well, a narcissist is all about themselves. They're very insecure. Everything's about themselves. They need the attention on them. If the attention isn't on them, they will become envious and then they will exercise that through means of intimidation, of being angry, of gossip, of slander, and the like. And narcissism is the embodiment of what one uh, what one's being currently is on a prolonged basis. And this is an extremely dangerous state and one cannot be a Christian when they are a narcissist. And that's why it's important to recognize this within ourselves and within um, our family members and friends and people we come across with and we need to warn them of this because someone can pretend to be a Christian but if they are narcissistic in nature and we all are selfish to the core but if they are narcissistic and everything's about them, then uh, there's no room for God. They can pretend that there's room for God, but what narcissists do is they go through the motions of God to appear as a good person because they want the credit, accolades, and accommodations and pat on the backs from other people from that which they really are not doing and that which they, uh, and the person in whom they don't e even know. Uh, because there are many people who are narcissists who go to church, but they do that just to appear good. And if a narcissist is prolonged selfishness, then everything they do is about themselves. They don't want to hear uh, what the word has to say about repent or taking up your cross or, or dying to the flesh in the world. Instead, they want to uh, enhance all that is the, pr the, flesh, uh, the, the pride of life, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes. And if it's all about themselves, there is no room for God. Those who truly want to know God and live for him will see the need to die to self. They will know they're not perfect. They know they're, they're going to stumble along the way. But they want to live for God and abide in him and live according to his will and word. But narcissists want to do no such thing. They want to go through the externals of the Christian faith while not changing internally. And this is a damning and damaging effect that ultimately will lead people to hell and the lake of fire. So... Uh, is it possible for a narcissist to be a Christian? The answer to that is no, because even though we struggle from selfishness, momentary, here and there, even Christians do from uh, time to time, narcissism is a prolonged state of character and what one is in the internal state of their being, and it is that which is contrary to what Christ clearly conveys, which is, if you do not deny yourself and take up your cross, you cannot be my disciple.